another episode of Full Disclosure, brought to you by ThingAssist.com. It's Knox, Apache. Um, this episode we're just going to cover some basic hacking techniques. Um, just cracking MD5 hashes. Um, MD5 stands for Message Digest Algorithm 5. Um, basically it's a 128-bit one-way hash. Um, and the only way to crack it is to, basically you have to take a word, put it into the MD5 function, develop a hash and then compare it to the hash that you have. And Knox is going to go through the steps and how uh, to crack it. Alright, we got two hashes here that we're going to show you. One for our dictionary attack and one for the brute force. Just kind of copy that. We're going to open up Kane. Go to Cracker. Go down to MD5 hashes. Add it in. Just paste it in there. Okay. Right click it and go to dictionary attack. Just use the word list that Kane provides. Start it. Dictionary attacks just uh, test dictionary words. So if it's not a dictionary word, it's not going to find it. As you can see, it found it. Infinity. Reset it after every crack. Now we're going to try and crack a non-dictionary word, and we're going to show you that it doesn't crack it. All right, to be able to crack a non-dictionary word, you have to use a brute force attack. Basically, it tries every combination of letters and numbers or, and symbols, whatever you choose in the character set, and creates a hash from that and tries to compare it to the hash that you have. Um, you can get MD5 hashes from everywhere. A lot of websites store password files in MD5 hash form. Um, and other programs do. As you can see, you didn't find it. Um, Kane provides a brute force attack. Uh, we don't really like that. It's a little slow. So, we use MD crack. It seems a little bit faster. Customize a little bit more stuff. Let's open that up here. Let's delete that out. Paste in the your uh, hash, make sure you're on MD5 hash. Um, choose your character set. I'm just going to choose numbers, letters, and capital letters. And just launch the, launch the crack. Um, depending on the size of the, of the password, um, it's going to get exponentially longer with each character. Um, so I'll just wait and see if it cracks. Alright, as you can see here, it cracked it. It's just patchy with a 4 for the A. Um, took 51 seconds. But if it was like 7, 8 characters long, it's going to be exponentially longer. Uh, it took a couple hours. Right. Well, that's it for cracking MD5 hashes. Uh, it's really simple. We'll have all the programs up on the site for you. I'm Knox. This is Patch. See ya. Take your easy.